Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Interstellar. In the near future, Earth is slowly becoming uninhabitable. So, a former NASA pilot and a team of researchers are sent through a wormhole across the galaxy to find which planet will be mankind's new home. I love space and sci-fi movies, and this is actually one of my favorite sci-fi movies because it just delivers everything I love from the visuals to the story to the characters and beyond that and you know as somebody that loves space and nasa and all of that this movie is just spectacular and i'm so happy that i'm finally able to talk about it because this is definitely one of those that are higher up on my christopher nolan list this movie is very thrilling and a huge reason why is because of the amazing characters because you care about them from the moment they're on screen you care about every single one of them and i think that that's something very important and really awesome that was able to happen with this movie because when you care about the majority of the characters especially obviously our protagonists you really get to feel the movie more and I thought the writing for this movie was spectacular. Every single thing that was done here was just amazing and you keep wondering what's happening next because you don't want anything to happen to these characters and you want these characters hopes and desires to come true and something really cool that this movie does is that it just lets us know what these characters want. So then the whole entire movie you're waiting for them to come true and you're just like anxious the whole time because you just want them to be happy and I love these characters. It's one of the reasons why I love this movie so much especially with murph and cooper young murph is played by mackenzie foy and jessica chastain plays the older murph and by the way i loved the casting they look alike and also they just both are really great actresses and of course cooper is played by matthew mcconaughey and obviously he's an amazing actor i love him and everything he does but in this role i think he fit perfectly and him and murph's which is his, his daughter's connection as characters and actors just really transcends to the screen and they really are what makes this movie i love them so much and their relationship from the beginning is my favorite and it is a relationship that i carry with me in my real life i thought it was a very realistic relationship and it shows you know the parents perspective of things as well as the kids perspective and i really like that whole aspect that there was a younger version and an older version of the character because you really get to see how she has been affected by the events happening in this movie cooper was very realistic as a parent and everybody in the movie was realistic even though this obviously is something that isn't happening now i just i really liked everything because he was just a simple dad you know he wanted to go ba play baseball with his kid go take them on a on a car ride but then he had all these other things he had to do also i just love when movies have nasa because like i said i'm a huge fan of nasa and i follow them on instagram and i'm always trying to like you know research what's happening and i again i just think space is so cool and although i don't fully understand the science and i'm not you know a science person to tell you if this movie is accurate or not about what it's saying i still think it made pretty good sense to me and like it was just really cool i liked the whole science aspect of the movie which is obvious to have in a science fiction movie but it wasn't boring to me sometimes in movies like this they, they get boring or i feel like it's going on for too long but in my opinion it was going on for the perfect amount of time and everything was perfect everything was fun and i enjoyed myself from beginning to end this movie is thought provoking which is one of my favorite aspects of film when a movie just makes me think and even after i finish it i'm still thinking about it i mean when i was writing down my notes for the review i came up with so much to talk about because there is so much to talk about this movie and one day i'm gonna try to make a spoiler review and talk about more detailed things because i feel like i can't get all my points across without giving spoilers but for my christopher nolan review series i've tried to avoid spoilers just in case you guys want to watch the movie this movie just gets you thinking and it is really smart and just like the storytelling is so well done and at times i could agree that it could be confusing and i had to do some like googling to make sure you know i'm every i understood everything but I loved it. I loved that it was confusing and that it took risks and that it didn't just have a simple plot. I just loved how 
twisty it was and how many layers it had especially when you get towards the third act and there's like reveals and things are kind of starting to connect i just thought it was very satisfying and so awesome it's a movie that when you rewatch it which i have like watched it multiple times you get to see things you didn't see before and you understand it a little bit better which is always a big plus and something really fun this movie is also emotional i love that again because it's not just the normal space movie where it's like oh here's some cool planets and the visuals which again those are really fun but this one is so much deeper than that it's like the perfect combination because it gives you the feels but it also makes you like really happy and of course the visuals of this movie are amazing it won it's very well deserved academy award for best visual effects like the wave scene oh my god it's beautiful and the wormhole scene this entire movie is beautiful it is such a beautiful looking movie even in when it's like on earth and everything is like you know grayish deserty looking i still think it looks great but obviously the space sequences are amazing the visual effects team couldn't have done it better they really made me feel like i was that in another planet and i also loved seeing different planets they were all kind of different there was like the really cold one the one with like waves it was just very creative. I loved it very much. Also, the score of this movie is fantastic. Hans Zimmer has again collaborated with Christopher Nolan and I love this duo. Hans Zimmer is such an amazing composer and he did an amazing job. I was actually just listening to the soundtrack. The music is just so emotionally captivating, intense. Like it leaves you wanting more and like it leaves you, yeah, it leaves you wanting more and it works perfectly with the scenes of course music is such an important part of filmmaking and a movie isn't complete without a score and this is just beautiful like the score mixed in with the visual effects is just such like an epic space drama it's such an amazing movie with such an amazing meaning and it, it has so much to unveil there every single scene unfolds something different and i loved the themes of this movie it was very well developed and again with the characters the characters really shined and i haven't mentioned any of the other characters but everybody was perfect in this movie because they all had something to give to the movie nobody felt unnecessary but i just love the themes of this movie christopher nolan is always really good at theming i always talk about it in his reviews but in this one especially i really like them and they're things like i said that i take with me in my everyday life and the ending of this movie was amazing it was perfect i i just can't s there are not enough words i can put to say how much i love this movie as a huge sci-fi fan this is one of my favorites and i'm going to give this movie an a plus I can't believe we're already nearing the end of this Christopher Nolan series. I only have Dunkirk left and then hopefully Tenet comes out. Well, it's apparently coming out, but the movie theaters here where I live aren't opening yet, which is unfortunate. But I mean, we have a lot of cases, so I understand why. But hopefully, you know, they open up really quickly here, or should I say soon here, and then... I can go review that for you guys and i can just go watch it because i've been waiting for this for so long especially after watching all christopher nolan movies i'm just like pumped for this i'm very very pumped thank you guys so much for watching this video if you've seen interstellar let me know what you think about it down below and if you haven't seen it then go ahead and watch it as always you guys can leave down requests of any movies you want me to review or any videos you want me to make i listen to requests i love requests so make sure to do that and make sure to subscribe as well because i'm posting mondays and fridays here on my channel at 3 p.m eastern time and also i'm doing a giveaway on my art instagram in case any of you are interested it ends this sunday and i'm gonna put it right here on the side you guys can go my instagram is at jennifer v art and all of the rules are in the description in case you guys want to enter because i mean who doesn't want some art supplies but yeah this was a really fun review to make i'm really happy that i got to talk about it and i'll see you guys next time bye